good morning or i'm actually supposed to be saying good afternoon it's 1208 right now my mornings have been starting slow but i don't completely hate it i am not an early bird whatsoever i've been trying to become one and it just never worked out so slow mornings are more my speed there's actually a lot to do this week. I'm finally getting braids even though summer is almost over. I'm getting my nails done. I also have to turn in my keys for my old apartment by Wednesday and there's still stuff there. So I still have to go back there to clear some stuff out. I officially moved in last week. If you didn't see my moving vlog, definitely go check that out. But I have a whole bunch of boxes. This is just my TV box. There's more boxes on the other side of it. I also might have a private chef coming here to celebrate the new place. I'm supposed to be working with Take a Chef. They proposed this opportunity to me about three to four weeks ago and they're cutting it really close with confirming for the chef. We don't have a chef. They confirmed the date for Saturday but we don't have a chef and I really want to make this happen because I just feel like it would be such a cool experience but I also have to rent a table and chairs because we don't have a dining area and we want to transform the living room area so that we can eat and just enjoy the food there but I don't know if we have a chef so I guess I'll follow up on that today I also have to clean my room and unpack more boxes so this week is going to be very eventful Brooklyn is just in his own world right now i honestly don't know what i'm doing for the rest of today but i should start by making my bed how about that i have to show you what brooklyn is doing right now he is too funny i guess he likes the curtain <laughs> brooklyn okay yeah you want to say hi to the camera look at you you look so handsome I did yesterday was putting together this my dresser that currently looks a mess don't mind it but my dresser is complete my mom's boyfriend and I spent about six hours putting together that dresser and he also put up my TV this is only my second week in this apartment and I've been trying to unpack and get rid of as many boxes as I can because honestly they've been driving me crazy I spent today fixing up my closet it looks like my dream walk-in closet but I'm not showing it in this vlog because I mentioned in my moving vlog that each room will get its own video so I'm going to have a video for my bedroom closet and I believe next week you will see my bathroom so that's what I've been doing between yesterday and today but the day is not over yet something happened very fast and it's mind-blowing to me that it was just so last minute and that I have this opportunity to attend something so amazing. Carol's daughter randomly inboxed your girl and asked to go to the US Open with them. I've never seen a tennis game in person or on TV. I know that they're sponsoring Coco Guff right now, so this whole experience is about to be crazy. I'm not going to be home all day, but of course I'm taking you with me. They're doing my hair, they're doing my makeup. I have to go to the mall tonight because they sent over the brief and the dress code is nothing that I have in my closet. So I literally, everything is so last minute and I was supposed to get braids tomorrow. I was getting ready to wash my hair tonight this hairstyle i've been wanting for about three months now because i don't like to deal with my curls in the summertime and i know summer is almost over but i still wanted these braids once this opportunity came up the appointment went out the window thankfully i got to reschedule for september i just wish my nails were done for the event i'm not getting them done until thursday i just can't wait to bring you along tomorrow and see how the day goes because I'm supposed to be out of my house by like 9 a.m. and the game starts at 7. We have VIP seats. Ah, I'm just thinking about the food. Like when you go to a stadium 
and you get to experience VIP. It's truly VIP. And usually it comes with all you can eat. I'm just a huge foodie, so honestly, ignore me. <laughs> also, I don't know if this private chef dinner is happening. I sent a message this morning and I also checked my email to see when they confirmed the date. It was over a month ago. They confirmed it July 16th and I still don't know if a chef is coming this weekend and like I mentioned I do have to rent stuff I do have to order stuff I would like it to be the most beautiful at home dinner but they're not getting back to me and I don't do last minute I basically told them if they can't confirm anything by tomorrow I'm not interested in having it right now I'm waiting for my mom to log off Tomorrow is technically my last day to turn in my keys, but since I'll be doing other things, I have to turn in my keys today by 6 p.m. And I also have to get rid of some stuff that's still there. So my mom, she's gonna be helping me do that. And she doesn't know that we have to go to the mall, but I'm gonna drag her to the mall afterwards. So she can help me pick out my outfit because she helps me with everything. So I don't think she'll have a problem. Yeah. We have about 20 minutes in and out. It's close. We have to go to the mall after this. Mm -hmm. We go to American Dream. They sent the brief. The dress code for tomorrow is yellow. And like cat like chic. I have nothing in my closet for it. Two years. No, I turned it off. The window is open. Look at this crazy. And all this, what are you going to do? Just the boxes are coming up, but everything else. Look, <laughs> <laughs> empty. They took everything. clock is winding down and we need to get an outfit we're going to the u.s open tomorrow
decide to now walk off. currently 8.03 a.m. and I have a little bit under an hour to leave. I would have had more time but I have to tell you what happened yesterday. So after that Zara fitting I was completely stressed out. We originally went to Mango and found this dress that was perfect perfect for the event but they only had a large so we left mango went to zara zara was a hot mess everything that i tried on didn't look right and i was like what's going on and after zara we went to so many other stores and barely found anything i think i found this yellow top from express and we went back to zara for these pants at that point my mom and i were so tired she was more tired than i and i just felt so bad for keeping her there we were there until the mall closed okay i've never stress shopped like that and did i show you the mood board or the brief of what they're looking for well my phone is charging i really need that to charge before i leave we also went to aritzia and i got like a fitted hunter green body dress that looks really cute and some ankle socks we went back to mango and i got the large dress i was like let me just try it on and see if i can safety pin it from the inside because the dress was just so perfect i didn't i didn't want to let it go as i saw the dress i also saw another outfit that i didn't see when we first walked in that i fell in love with but it's all green and they were looking for like yellow with hints of green and purple the dress was a mix of everything purple golden yellow green it was just so beautiful so i grabbed i tried on everything we loved everything and then my mom said she wanted to scream because we were there in the first place and i tried on the pants to the set the other set that i liked that mango it was a size small but i wanted a different size small like after trying it on because it was damaged and I just ran to the rack because the mall was about to close I don't know I was rushing I was running and then I was like oh got a small and then I checked everything out came home and I was trying to figure out how I'm going to commute to the city today because that's where I have to go and I didn't want to be a crazy bag lady so I opted for both I'm going to be a crazy carry-on and bag lady so I'm going to be carrying my bag and my carry-on. I packed my carry-on last night, but let me tell you what happened when I put the clothes in the carry-on. The set that I loved so much, I got a size large in the pants instead of a small. And there's no way I can tell my mom this. Like she's downstairs at the gym right now. I have to tell her when I get back, but we're going on a journey this morning. That's why I'm up early and I have to leave soon. We're going to hit the store before my arrival time. So Mango opens up at 10 in the city and apparently they have the dress that I want in the size that I need. We're going to Mango this morning. They open up at 10, we're gonna get there for doors open and I have to be at the suite to get my hair and makeup done by 10.30. So we're gonna try to do it in 10 minutes. I don't know why I'm whispering. This feels like a secret mission, no Joey Essex. I, ha I have to take care of Brooklyn before I go because my mom is watching him, but I still like to help out as much as I can so she doesn't have to do a lot. And honestly, he's a good boy, like he's such a good dog. But I'm so happy that I get to go as I am and I don't have to do anything else extra. And today's supposed to be super hot and I can't find my razor. It's in one of these boxes. So I'm covering up my legs today. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about shaving my legs. I would like if I can find a different pair of shoes, but I don't know if we could do that within the 30 minutes that we have. This is really going to be tough. I haven't been wearing my Apple Watch recently. I got this tan this summer from just wearing it all day, but I really need to wear them today so I can stay on top of things. 
right now it's 808 I already brushed my teeth I washed my face I even shaved my face last night because I know I'm getting my makeup done and usually when my face is shaved like it lays so flawlessly and also it's just better for my skincare because I've been breaking out and shaving my face just helps the product penetrate into my skin better and I really reap the benefits of what I use I usually do it once a month so I was really behind and that's why all that stuff came off last night it was actually very nasty and I stayed up until 2 a.m. doing my hair I had to wash and blow dry it, that's what they asked for, and we'll see how they style it. I'm really gonna get ready now, and we're gonna go on this mission together, trying to get my dress and the correct size pants. I can't wait to tell my mom about it when I get back, but there's no way I'm telling her now, because we went through so much last night. Is she back? <laughs> They are not open, but we are here. I don't know if I want to wait in front of the doors. Is that too needy? <laughs> I don't know. Outfits are secured, but we are running 10 minutes late to our OG destination. But we got what we needed and the dress looks chef's kiss. So that's what I'm gonna wear. With the pants, right? I asked the guy at the register if they had it. And he was like, no, they got rid of them like a month ago. And something told me to ask someone else because it's early. He probably didn't want to do his job. So I asked someone else. They went upstairs, got it for me. And that's what took even longer because the dress was right there when I walked in. So, but now we're going to get glammed. <laughs>
see this view. This is so yeah, nice. The view is <gasps> oh, this is beautiful. That's the Empire State Building, right? Yes. Your girl is all dressed. We are in this beautiful suite that they brought us to to get ready. They got the bubblies. I'm here with Cece. Let's see, backlit. Cheers. She makes the best beauty and fashion content, so just check her out. Yeah. <laughs> this is the room. It is pretty nice. This is my stuff. But they got the Carol's Daughter pillows. This beautiful view of the city. This is the bathroom. So nice, look at these tennis balls. Some crazy stuff <laughs> This is the dress that we ran to get this morning at Mango. Comment how you feel about it, but I love this dress. And these are the shoes. They're like a Prada dupe. I also got these from Mango. I need to get scissors to take the tag off. But I've never seen myself like this. And I think I look beautiful. And that's thanks to the Carol's Daughters team, period. Where's the glasses? <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, that's perfect. <laughs> me. I dance in the pouring rain. My name is Ashley. Oh, the building was good. Yes, so <laughs> 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 you speak, I come undone. You are me. the stadium it's currently 6 44 the game starts at 7 and we're just trying to make our way to the lounge security did confiscate my big tripod but i have my little one and honestly if i can't find that man when i get out of here i'm just gonna order another one because it's, it's not that deep I'm excited to watch, see my first tennis game in person. Walking around this place is like an exercise. I am sweating everywhere and we're about to see Coco play. There's no escalator. I know, like come on. This is crazy. 
It's a workout. It's a workout right here. It is. Excuse me. We're on our way, Coco. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I am sweating. It's like crazy. back home and we definitely have to talk about yesterday but first let's go get our nails done or see if we're getting our nails done today because I'm trying out a new nail tech she's very close to home and I kind of feel like I'm cheating on my friend because I love her work and I've been going to her for what I think a year after COVID so like three years now and she's crazy talented but she's very far away from home or at least to where I moved to, it was easier to get to her from my old apartment. But now it's more of a commute where I moved. So I really wanted to find someone close to home. And also where my friend works, that's where I got slapped by a bum when I had my hair out like this, like randomly. And honestly, since then, I haven't felt safe going there. I shouldn't be, you know, clutching my pearls on my way to and from my nail appointment and the new girl that's close to home she also seems very talented and i want to give her a try but she inboxed me a few minutes ago right now i'm on my way to get cash because she only accepts the payment in cash and i don't usually carry cash i was coming downstairs so i can go drive and get the cash and she inboxed me asking me if i could come at 12 40 instead of 12 because she's still working on a client I have a meeting at 3.30. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I did become independent about two weeks ago, meaning I left my agency that I was with for four years since 2020, since COVID. I'm so thankful for everything that they've done for me thus far, but I just feel like I was left on the back burner and they weren't pushing for me to be in the spaces that I wanted to be in. And there was a few down times where I wouldn't have work up to three to four months and these past few months has honestly made me sick i was like there's no way that they're working on getting me brand deals and nothing is coming in after like four or five months and after speaking to a few creator friends they told me like it wasn't normal that's not supposed to happen meanwhile i'm over here thinking that it was normal denisha i believe i featured her on the carol's daughter vlog that i have up on my channel but i've been seeing her more frequently now and i asked her about her agency and how she likes it she said that she would recommend me to her agency and why are, are my eyes watering but basically her manager reached out to me last week we had a introductory meeting she told me about the agency what they do and literally they have everything that i would want as management and she said if i'm interested they would send my profile to the higher ups and determine if they want to sign with me or not I got the email yesterday while I was getting ready at Carol's Daughter while they was doing my hair actually that they want to sign with me and I said I would cry when I get back home but I was too tired to cry like we really have to talk about what happened last night but signings doesn't happen very often like with content creators she told me that her clients like clients talents always recommend people but she was just so drawn to my profile and she goes based off energy and she just felt like i had a good energy and that i would fit well with the agency and i just feel like if god wanted me to stay independent as a creator he would have because like i mentioned getting signed to an agency is a big thing so the fact that this happened within two weeks i'm just so thankful i'm so grateful i'm not missing that meeting so for her to ask if i could come at 12 40 is kind of crazy 
that's 40 minutes past the original appointment time. That's 40 minutes she could be doing my nails, but she's stuck doing another person's nails. Oh, she said yes, I'll be done by 3.30. So if that's the case, 12.40 it is. I'm going to go get this cash. Get this cash sounds crazy. I'm gonna go get this money. Get this money sounds crazy. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the ATM so I can pay the girl and hopefully my nails come out cute. I think I haven't gotten my nails done since February. I believe the last time was the Disney trip because I didn't even get to see my friend to tell her about the Disney trip. I think like I don't remember if she took off my nails or not or like if she did another set after that and so I'd say like February March just for the sake of being a content creator and my hands are always shown in like videos hair videos and stuff I just usually like to have my nails done it was okay not having acrylics for like the past I don't know how many months but I'm just happy that I can finally get back to it because now that I'm living with my mom, I can save more, and I can do more things like when it comes to self-care, getting my nails done, oh, getting massages, facials, I haven't been able to do that, I'm just happy that I finally get to do that, um, yeah, so, let's go get my nails done. Hi, your studio is so cute. to show you what just came in the mail and then I'll catch you up to speed on everything. This is what just came in the mail and I also have merch. Like I have a shirt, a hat, I believe these are two sweaters and also a sweatsuit. I have to get rid of this before my mom wakes up but let me tell you why this is here. It's really just as simple as I want a sweepstakes with Poppy. <laughs> I laugh every time I say this because I was a person that didn't believe in sweepstakes. I was like, no one ever wins these things, but I just won one. I entered this sweepstakes, I said May, but I think it was like probably June, July. It was like a summer sweepstakes thing with Avant Day and I believe another company was hosting it for them. But I entered this sweepstakes, completely forgot about it. They reached out to me the second week of August of this month saying that I won. I won. <laughs> and I didn't know this poppy was coming in today and we're still in the process of unpacking. So we really don't have this space, but I completely forgot to share that I want a sweepstakes. <laughs> and not only that, I want a sweepstakes with one of my favorite brands ever. If you know me, you know I love poppy. If you ask me what my favorite drink is besides water, it's poppy. <laughs> and I'm tearing up because I'm still in awe, like I'm still in shock. And I also won three grand, which I used towards my birthday trip that's happening this year. I remember yapping about this trip and nothing was booked. Because of the sweepstakes, I was able to book my flight hotel and all of that fun stuff and I also want travel credit to have a vacation somewhere in the United States or Hawaii and I can use it anytime it's for these gorgeous villas it's like an Airbnb but it looks fancier and I have up to four grand in credit towards that so like I can use it whenever I want I'm honestly gonna give it to God because you don't understand how much I was stressing out about my financials and I kept on trying not to. I have to keep reminding myself that God, he's the one that's in control and he's the one that can take at any time and that he can give at any time. And this is living proof. I truly feel like I want this because of him because I didn't even know how I was going to pay for that trip. 
at the end of this year. I truly believe that he looked out for me because I entered this sweepstakes for the heck of it. I love Poppy so when I saw it I was like why not just enter. I didn't think that I was gonna win but did I mention that I have Poppy? Free Poppy for the rest of the year? I have this all these cases of poppy sitting on my counter i definitely want to ask my family if they want poppy because it is a lot but i'm just so thankful so grateful and that's just crazy and i also want to say this is proof that you miss 100 of the shots you don't take because if i didn't enter this sweepstakes i wouldn't be getting anything and we really don't know when we're gonna take the w or not so why not just try i wanted to add that in there i got so <laughs> so overwhelmed when I was opening up that delivery but today is Friday things got very chaotic after my meeting yesterday like after I got my nails done and after I got on the meeting to meet my new manager by the way these are the nails they are so pretty they are gold and almond I think she did a great job I really love how they came out like I just keep on you know yeah yeah Basically, I had two collaborations that I had to finish up and I was really cutting close with time. I had to do a video for Carol's daughter and then I had to do one for Shea Moisture for their deodorant. Y'all know the deodorant that I love. I actually advertised for the all body deodorant, but I had to put in the antiperspirant deodorant that I use every day because I just love it so much. So that's a collaboration that I was really excited for. I wanted to make it as organic as I can because this is a product that I really love and I haven't had any sponsored work in a while so I wanted to do my best on that. I think it came out pretty good. I submitted it for a review. If they approve it, I post it next week and we're all good with that. And Carol's daughter was actually approved this morning and it's already posted on my Instagram page. It's like a full recap, not even a full recap. I feel like YouTube is getting the full recap of the day that we attended the US Open and we saw Coco Guff play. It was such an exciting day. Yeah, that day was amazing. I didn't even mention what happened coming back home. We drove to the stadium in sprinters. We had, I think it was about two to three sprinters and probably 10 people per car. I don't know the exact amount, but the sprinter that I was in and that my friends were also in, we were told that we could leave our stuff on the bus on the sprinter because it will be there when we get back. And we had to leave early because it started thundering and it was saying 100% chance of rain. So we all hurried out the stadium and the guy that confiscated my tripod, he saw me on the way out. He was like, oh, you need your tripod. I was like, yeah. Cece also got her tripod confiscated and it was so small. I didn't know why she couldn't bring it in. Mine, I understood, but hers, ugh. but they took both of our tripods and a small group of us stayed behind. Two people from the Carol's Daughter team, they stayed with us to make sure that we were okay as they should. Like, I love that team. I will say this over and over and over again. I will always work with Carol's Daughter. I love that team. But they stayed behind to make sure that we got our stuff and then we followed the rest of the group to the sprinters. Once we finished our walk, our sprinter left us with our stuff inside the van. Not only that, there was only two people that was inside that sprinter that left. Knowing that there was a whole group of us, they even left the CEO. I didn't even know they left the CEO until I saw Miss Lisa across the street while we were waiting for this sprinter. And we were waiting, like standing underneath the train station by City Field for a good 45 minutes. Not even kidding you. He said he was 10 minutes away, like he drove off 10 minutes ago and that he'll be back soon. Minutes has gone by this guy was not coming and we were all convinced that he drove to Manhattan probably dropped off those two people and came back I wouldn't have known because they ordered other cars for us to go back to the hotel if we wanted to wait for our stuff there other people decided to still wait for the van and wait for their stuff people left valuable items in that sprinter and I left my saloon bag it was so hot that day. I didn't know it was going to be 90 degrees. I was dripping sweat everywhere. I basically worked out walking around the tennis stadium. Like I didn't know there was different courts inside the stadium. It was a very cool experience. Very, very cool experience. That's why I said like that will be the most unforgettable day for me besides getting home 
I didn't get home until past midnight and I could have gotten home earlier but it's not even the team's fault. It's really the driver and the two people that were in that van's <laughs> fault. But the team made sure that I got my stuff and that I got home safely. They covered my ride to them and coming back home like I didn't have to pay out of pocket for anything. I was just really really tired that night that day and then i had to submit content for them that same day but they did push back the time because of what happened and yeah that's what happened basically i didn't even get to share watching coco play was very interesting like i've never seen a tennis match in person and it was so cool just seeing the ball fly across the net and just how much space they were taking because the tennis court did look large i don't know if i want to start learning how to play tennis probably not you know no, pro level but just to learn i don't know it just seemed really cool and also i was learning from maya i believe her name is maya i just met her yesterday and i've been following her since she had her i believe it was her champagne party for her birthday i think it was last year but that's where i found her content from i'll put her at name on the screen somewhere but she actually plays tennis and she's from texas and she was explaining the game to me because i did not understand like the numbers the uh you know all the terminologies when it comes to tennis so she was schooling me on that and i'm so thankful for her because now i'm actually interested today i was working on a new youtube video for this weekend because i didn't even get to do that i usually have my youtube videos edited and the, towards the beginning of the week so they're already ready for the weekend tomorrow saturday and i still don't have a video yet so that's what i'm going to be working on for the rest of the night it's like seven o'clock right now so i'm going to stay up and do that so i can have something up for this weekend and tomorrow what am i doing tomorrow i don't think i'm doing anything tomorrow tomorrow is supposed to be the personal the private chef dinner here but honestly we're not even ready for it they never come from the chef so i guess we're just gonna chill out tomorrow i really do need to clean my room if i show you what's going on right now like i'm usually not this messy it's a lot and it's a lot for me <laughs> it really is because my space is usually so clean but i have to give myself grace because i just moved and oh i have to unpack the poppy before my mom wakes up because she saw what i was unpacking immediately got a headache and went to bed because she knows i'm going to be getting it for the rest of the year and we honestly don't have the space so i'm gonna try to make space and she told me i need my own place not now ma'am i just moved in please i don't want to pay rent again i mean i guess you can watch me unpack poppy <laughs> I just woke up from a nap. Today is Sunday. I don't remember if I started this vlog on a Monday or a Sunday. Hi Brooklyn. But I'm ending it today. <laughs> My menstrual started yesterday and yesterday, what did I do yesterday? My boyfriend came over and his friend's father opened up a studio here in New Jersey, so it was like a grand opening. I believe the father works with Haitian artists and they create music. I don't know exactly what he does, but they were playing Haitian songs. My boyfriend was singing on the mic. And then we went to a Kenyan restaurant in Newark. It's called Swahili Village. We love it there. The food is amazing. So we went there last night. This morning we went to church. He left early and I fell asleep after he left and I've been asleep since. <laughs> 
I'm not feeling well with my cramps. I'm really not at my best. So that's why I'm choosing to say my farewells until I see you next time. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I feel like a lot happened this week. My first official, I spent my first official week in this apartment with you. Well, is it first official? I feel like the week I moved in was such a blur because I was just unpacking boxes, so. I don't know. But anyways, I don't know what I'm doing for the rest of the day. I'm gonna try to clean up because my room is a mess and I've been saying that all week. So I guess I'm going to get a head start this evening, tonight. So I don't have to do a lot, but thank you so much for watching. If you stayed until the end, I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be, but as always, take care of yourself. Make sure you take care of yourself and I will definitely see you in my next video. Bye.